course, years in the making. DJ, I'm scared. I'm like legitimately scared right now. Well, you know, we got Curtis here, we got Alexander Bravado. They're gonna take any uh, bodies that come flying towards us. We're gonna throw them in Absolutely. front. Absolutely. Why? Why? You're Why? our shield. Age before beauty, my friend. Age before beauty. Well, it's about time you recognize that I'm beautiful, EJ. I think they should use B Squad over here. Curtis is a chair. What? The disrespect. It's not the B squad, it's the JV team, okay? Fair enough. Wow. Did, what, did we just agree on something? That was scary in itself. Just because I play JV basketball, EJ, doesn't mean I'm JV here, man. Come on. All right. Whatever you say. What is what? this coming what the... is that... Do you know what that looks like? Joe Davis, what's going on here? That, it, that, that show, that show, Squid Game. He looks like one of the front men. He looks creepy, that's all oh, I know. Big, is it a, I don't know if it's a human being, it's a big something or other. This was supposed to be Mike Orlando. Not, Mike Orlando not showing up? is this? Just... Are these two together? Oh my oh! God! EJ, do you know who that is? Unbelievable Joe Davis. We have not seen him in it's, years. It's Mr. Martinez! He's back! We have not seen him in years, Joe Davis. This is like seeing a ghost. He looked like a ghost at first. And if Orlando ever really needed any more help, he's got it. Unbelievable. The score has just been even there, Joe Davis. Even? I think he has the advantage. Mr. Martinez is a game changer. Absolutely. The gr green machine has just gained another cog, another spoke in its machinery. This one is going to get nasty. And it doesn't look like Mr. Martinez shrunk at all either. As we were saying, off himself said this one has been years in the making, a collision course to Norfolk Southern locomotives heading straight at each other on the same track. Folks, this one is inevitable. There's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, so strap in and enjoy the ride. Handshake, so apparently they're gonna play fair, I guess. For now. and elbow tie up here, feeling each other out. Well, these are just two big, big men. Absolutely no one wants to be the first to make a mistake here. It could be deadly. I think anything between these two guys could be deadly. Off will clearly get behind Orlando here with the waist lock. Orlando frees himself. Side headlock here. So EJ, what, what is your guess as to the role of Mr. Martinez out here with Orlando? Is this a, a manager? Is it a bodyguard? Is it an advisor? As always, it's probably going to be a little bit of all three of those things there. It's just what we will call, if we're playing Uno, the wild card. Well, Alpha's not here to play any games, I assure you of that. Absolutely not. Definitely not a guy you'd want to hit him hit with the reverse card, I'll tell you that much. That would not be a good game of Uno. And Tessa Strat, I'm actually interested to see this. Here we go. Who will come out on top of this Greco-Roman knuckle lock? A classic test of strength. 
professional res- wrestling. I mean, I couldn't even venture to guess which one of these two are stronger. Oh, my goodness. Alpha taking advantage, though. Oh, absolutely. Wish he would do that to you, Curtis. Wow. Wow. That's your <laughs> profound statement? Wow. wow. That, that, make a shirt for it. Put your face on a shirt. Be the worst selling merch in the history of wrestling. Yeah. It would make PPW wrestling great. Look at this. Yeah, oh, but my goodness. They, they're barely feeling it, guys. Have we made any Lumberjack references tonight, EJ? Absolutely not. Go for it there, Joe Dan. It's a job fest. I hope someone brought the pancakes and maple syrup. Not too, too far. Back to the action. Trading back and forth. Kind of taking a break, sizing. Orlando sizing up, Appa. This crowd here in Broadheadsville split on who they want to win this one. It it does sound split, like almost 50-50. Well, these are the two biggest heavyweights we got here at PPW, the two biggest dogs on the block. So you have to expect that the crowd is going to be evenly split. Both these men, former PPW heavyweight champions, both men dominating runs holding that belt. Oh, no, watch out. Oh, oh my goodness. Right into the barricade. He got off the hit his head. Yo, these two are true heavyweights. Yo, Curtis, you're a little too young to remember, but back in the day, pro wrestling, it was a sport dominated by men like Mike Orlando and Offa Jr., true heavyweights, well over 250 pounds, well oh. around 300 pounds each. And this is what we're getting, some classic heavyweight action here tonight. It's back and forth again. And even referee Jim Holberg staying away from this one. Can't blame him. Yeah, he wants to stay out of that blast zone there. Well, you know, that headbutt doesn't affect Alpha when he uses it. Absolutely, that Simone head is at... Well, watch, actually, watch this replay, guys. Just how far Orlando shoots. And boom, Alpha's head right into that barricade. Easily could have knocked him out, but here he is. Well, he strengthened that head over the years, Curtis, so not quite the same effect. That big Samoan drop. Off of trying to get some energy back, get pumped up here. Absolutely, he knows he has an advantage here. He sees his opening. Oh no, oh I hate when he does this. Oh no. These two, the ring might come down tonight. Oh! It's a big target to be hitting. Oh! I think the ring shifted at least four feet. Look at the look on Mike Orlando's face. I don't think I've ever said this, but somebody check on Alpha. Look at the look on Mike Orlando's face. He has a blank stare. The machine. Watch this again, guys. Oh. The machine is running on all gears here tonight. It is steaming. Mike Orlando is on a path of destruction. Oh, wait. Holbert's calling for someone. Yeah, what's... Oh, going for Dr. Frank. The doctor's coming out. Jim Holbert wants the doctor to check. Mike Orlando says he's not buying it. We're going to see what Dr. Frank says here. I don't know what is happening. Orlando doesn't seem to care. Crowd is absolutely silent right now. Mike Orlando showing little regard for the safety of his opponent here. And I heard Holbert say he's not responding. And his eyes are closed. 
This is a, a scary situation. Well, we got a little movement. I guess that's good. I think Dr. Frank gonna use a smelling salt or something. Is that what that was? Were they gonna let him go or? I mean, I know office tough guys, but you, you almost have to call this thing. Yeah, he's taking quite a amount of damage tonight so far. The fans want to see a great match, but also concern here. But I think Alpha said, no, I'm going to go. Oh, no, Orlando. Alpha's barely moving here. Hober trying to prevent him. No. Oh, no. Well, if he wasn't done before, he's done now. Maybe some confusion? Well, no, I guess maybe the doctor said he can't go. Yeah, Hobart won't count. Well, Hobart throwing up the X side and some other guys. No, they you got it. You got it. Everybody else trying to put a stop to this. The locker room is spilling out here. To we have an unresponsive alpha. Orlando just wouldn't stop, so locker room filling out. We we have a situation out here, guys. Yeah, this is we serious. We need security. We need help. We Come need on, anybody. Orlando. Enough is enough. I, I get Orlando wanted this match. I understand that. But at what cost? Fellas, we got a serious situation here. For sure. And he's not stopping. We got Sins over there helping out off. In this case, yeah, absolutely, guys. And I can't tell Alpha kind of softer, like, holding his neck or neck, shoulder area, maybe a collarbone injury, a, a neck injury. There could be a plethora of things that happened there with the angle he fell. Yeah. And you got everybody helping him out. Orlando, though, still looking on the back. Well, I don't know if you can say Alpha is standing, but with some assistance, there's movement. Wow. What's this mean going forward, guys? I have no idea, Joe. Just the career of Alpha has to be in serious jeopardy now. Not only the career of Alpha, but the attitude of Mike Orlando. I mean... Well, I don't know if it was a miscommunication, Curtis. I, I, don't, I don't really know. 